Hundreds of Tibetans, Uyghur Muslims and Hong Kongers held a protest march across downtown Toronto and marched towards Chinese consulate to denounce 100th anniversary of Communist Party of China. They chanted Free Tibet, Free Hong Kong and Free East Turkestan. The speakers announced a chain of protest in Canada against Chinese regime's brutalities on dissidents, Tibetans, Uyghurs and Hong Kongers precisely. Free Hong Kong political prisoners! Free Tibet! Free Tibet! Free Hong Kong! The Chinese Communists are celebrating 100 years, right? But that 100 years is not a happy year for us, for Tibetan people, for Hong Kong people, for East Turkestan. Look behind me. Look, these all are the people that are protesting right now and we are heading towards the Chinese consulate of Toronto. We are here because we are not happy how they've been like unfair to our own people and still how they can celebrate 100 years of CCP. Today we have uh, 20 civil society organizations from six uh, different communities coming together to show out solidarity with all peoples under the oppression of the Chinese Communist Party. And uh, the reason why we come out today is because July 1st, 2021st, is actually uh, you know, the 100 year of founding of the CCP. It also marks the first anniversary of the total crackdown of the Hong Kong civil society under the national security law. And uh, behind the so-called economic uh, uprising uh, or the high-tech mega projects in China is the dark side of human suppression and total social control uh, by means of uh, military and also surveillance of the system all over China. So I think uh, the CCP has become a major threat to global uh, democracies. So we need to get our voices heard. We also need to show our determination and solidarity to stop the CCP oppression around the world. My name is Dira and I'm here from Students for Free Tibet Canada. Today we have six different communities, the Taiwanese community, Hong Kong, Uyghur, East Turkestan, Vietnamese community, that have all come together to not celebrate the 100 years of the Chinese Communist Party, but instead, you know, highlight that it's been 100 years of oppression for all of us. Uh, we have over 500 people that have gathered here uh, who are passionate, who, who want to see change in, and democracy for all the communities affected and inside China as well. More than 500 people from six different communities to against the Chinese Communist Party, ongoing genocide in East Turkestan, Tibet, uh, repression in Hong Kong, and we stand up for Taiwan. And we strongly demand our uh, Canadian government to not be uh, blind, blind eyes and recognize uh, Chinese genocide in East Turkestan and take actual action and boycott Chinese uh, 2022 Olympics. Uh, I'm going to say about my march, Freedom March. Uh, I want to start July 1st, uh, July 4th. So uh, we're going to arrange a big protest in July 4th and the old city hall in Toronto. So come to join us and then also uh, please support us Uyghur and also I arrange an, an e petition online on change work. Please sign up that uh, petition for support Uyghurs. I also uh, further this freedom march sure, for sure. asking Canadian government. Uh, Martin, Martin. As you know, the oh. Canadian Parliament uh, already recognized the, the genocide in China and in, in, in East Turkestan. So I'm asking Canadian government to recognize uh, the, the atrocity in, as a genocide in, in East Turkestan. And I'm also asking the help and the support of Uyghurs to boycott Chinese 2022 Beijing Olympics. And also asking uh, Justin Trudeau government to support Uyghur, take action for Uyghurs, and also 
that bring them Uyghur refugees all around the world to Canada. There has been a massive anger against China as President Xi Jinping led CCP is engaged in applying many of the tactics including disinformation campaigns, political interference, elite capture and coercion of businesses in Hong Kong and Taiwan. Free Hong Kong! Free Hong Kong! Free Vietnam! Free Vietnam! Free East Pakistan! Free East Pakistan.